Hi, welcome to this video tutorial series. My name is James Mulvaney and I'm founder of Radio.co. I'll be your tutor for the next few videos and what we're going to be doing in this series is showing you exactly how to use the platform in the quickest way possible, covering all the different aspects and all the different features that we have available and really trying to get your radio station up and running as quick and easy as possible. So we're going to start off with this is what you will see when you first log and you first signed up. This station is basically inactive. The first thing you need to do to bring your station to life is click where it currently says off air and that will go red. That means your station is now on air. We haven't uploaded any content to our radio station yet and I'll be covering that in the next video so don't worry about that for now. Um, but your station is now live and that means it's primed for action. And what I'll do now is I'll just take you over the various different aspects of the dashboard. As you can see, there's not much going on because it is a brand new station. But as you start populating your account with media and scheduling events and people start listening to you, this will all become a lot more useful. So at the top here, we have our live broadcasting bar. You can toggle this up and down by clicking live. And this basically gives you an idea if anyone is currently connected to your station. That's someone is broadcasting live from a computer or a laptop, could be from anywhere in the world, and actually connected to your system. You also have some information. If you've ever used a Shoutcast service, it'll appear familiar, a host name, a port, and a password. These are unique to your account, so don't share these with anyone else because everyone has their own individual connection details, especially if you start uh, inviting other DJs to uh, broadcast live on your system. This information is completely unique to you, but will allow you to broadcast live from any software that's kind of Shoutcast or Icecast compatible. Again, we're going to cover this in a later tutorial video. I'll explain more about that later. Moving down, this information here will give you a snapshot of what's going on in your account, the number of listeners that are currently connected, the amount of bandwidth you've used to the current month, and also the amount of disk space or storage that you're using with all your media files. And as you can see, it's all at zero because it is a completely blank account. I wanted to start off with an account that was empty just like you have if you've just signed up for the service. Also, recently played tracks. Again, this will come to life and we'll show you this further down the line. But this will show you what is currently being broadcast on your radio station, the song that is being played right now. And it will also show you the last five songs that have been broadcast prior to that. Schedule is a great way to see exactly what's coming up on that day. So when you have an event scheduled or you might have a live broadcast scheduled, your kind of calendar for the day will show up here. Again, we're going to cover this in a later video. I'll explain what events are, the different types of events, and also how you can schedule them. We have a heat map down here. This will light up basically in darker red where you get the most listeners. So it will show you exactly where your station is most popular, e.g. maybe you have uh, more listeners in the United States, which will appear darker red than, say, South America or whatever. Um, also, we have some breakdown of the type of listeners that are connected at the moment. So you have top five regions, which is country. Uh, also, the platforms, so people might be tuned in using iPhones or uh, Androids, for example, which we classed as you know mobile devices or desktop, and also individual device breakdowns. Do you have more listeners on iPhone versus Android, or maybe you have more listeners on Google Home versus Alexa? All of this is broken down here. We've also got more comprehensive stats, which I'll cover in a later video, but this is just a basic overview of what's going on in your account. This will start to look a lot more interesting as we progress and build our radio station together. The last thing I wanted to draw your attention to is the side menu. This allows you to navigate between different sections of the product. We've got dashboard, media, playlists, schedule, listen, requests, statistics, add-ons, settings, and users. I'll explain what each of these sections are. Some of them also have sub -navs. So for example, media, we've got various different options, different forms of media which you can upload. We're going to be covering the system in a lot more detail as this video series progresses. I do encourage you to watch it uh, from beginning to end. Just like anything, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for you. If you're uh, not familiar with radio.co and you've not used the system before, you can't expect to know everything immediately. So we do encourage you to watch these videos. We're trying to make them as clear and as concise as possible. And we've also tried to structure them in an order that makes sense uh, for you. So please go on to the next video where we're going to be talking about media and how to upload it. And I'll speak to you later on.